वेलकम बैक टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द ड्रॉबैक प्रेजेंट इन वेल फैब्रिकेशन प्रोसेस वट इज द ड्रॉबैक प्रेजेंट इन वेल फैब्रिकेशन प्रोसेस लैचअप इज द ड्रॉबैक प्रेजेंट इन वेल फैब्रिकेशन प्रोसेस हाउ टू ओवरकम लैचअप इन द सीमास फैब्रिकेशन प्रोसेस मीन्स फिंटम एंड एस वॉय इज इट क्लियर अल ऑफ यू ओके इन द लास्ट क्लास वी हैड डिस्कस अबाउट द वेल फैब्रिकेशन प्रोसेस इन दिस क्लास वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द ड्रॉबैक प्रेजेंट इन वेल फैब्रिकेशन प्रोसेस एंड द रेमेडीज ऑफ इट वॉट आर द रेमेडीज ऑफ इट फिंटअप एंड एस वॉय आर द रेमेडीज ऑफ इट now if you observe that what is latch up in terms of definition later we will see in terms of pictorial representation latch up will occur in well fabrication process in well fabrication process either n well or p well fabrication process either n well or p well fabrication process okay due to parasitic bipolar junction transistors there is a path from vdd to vss this path leads to static current flow which damages your device this effect is known as latch up okay now if you observe that in n well or p well any well fabrication if you consider okay in the design of cmos fabrication itself there is a parasitic capacitance sorry there is a parasitic bipolar junction transistors okay which gives a path from vdd to vss and which leads to a static current flow this effect is known as latch up we will see in terms of pictorial representation now observe this is an n well cmos fabrication process how latch up will occur in its well fabrication okay now if you observe that very clearly here there is a p and p and n that means a p type semiconductor and a n type semiconductor and p type semiconductor which leads to a p n p transistor here okay and here if you observe that an n type semiconductor n type semiconductor and p type semiconductor which leads to n p n transistor here observe very carefully in the design of a well fabrication process itself they are obtaining therefore this is referred as parasitic bipolar junction transistors the word observe very carefully what is parasitic okay parasitic here in a sense okay without any external <coughs> without any externally giving okay in the design itself it is generating there is it clear therefore this termed as parasitic okay bipolar junction transistor how if you observe that how this parasitic bipolar junction transistors will provide the path from vdd to vss okay which leads to static current flow now if you observe that i am going to draw here okay this is a pnp transistor okay therefore i am considering this p and p and this referred as en is it clear here an npn transistor is there now observe very carefully here en en and p okay since it is an npn transistor it will be like this and since it is a pnp transistor the arrow mark will be inside is it clear okay now if you observe that very carefully this is connected to vdd okay and this and uh, this is connected like this okay and this is connected to this now if you observe it is connected to this vss now if you observe the path here there is a path from vdd is it clear like this is it understood all of you okay due to this parasitic bipolar junction transistor there is a path from vdd to vss which leads to static current flow this effect is known as latch up which leads to static current flow this effect is known as latch up okay in the well fabrication process due to parasitic bipolar junction transistor due to parasitic bipolar junction transistors there is a path from vdd to vss which leads to static current flow this effect is known as latch up is it understood all of you okay now how this latch up is going to be overcome now observe the remedies of latch up how latch up is going to be overcome what are the remedies of latch up okay 
you can use instead of well fabrication you can use tinto fabrication or SYE fabrication process or else you can lightly dope your substrate to overcome the latch up okay this is a very important question for your external point of view what is latch up what are the remedies of it latch up is the effect is an effect appear in well fabrication process is it clear now if you want to write in the form of a definition what is latch up in well fabrication the in well fabrication due to parasitic bipolar junction transistors there is a path from vdd to vss which leads to static current flow this effect is known as latch up and how it is going to be overcome okay instead of well fabrication process you can use twin of fabrication process soa fabrication process or else you can lightly dope to your substrate is it clear now we will see the twin of fabrication and soa technologies now roughly i have considered this structure to explain the twin of fabrication process okay now this is a well fabrication okay i have considered which type of well fabrication process i have considered n well fabrication process now observe very carefully in this n well fabrication process what is the drawback present in us absolutely what is the drawback present in us latch up latch up is the major drawback present in us due to bipolar junction transistors which are developed parasitically okay now how to overcome this parasitic bipolar junction transistor means observe very carefully yourself okay here there is no isolation between this well and this substrate is it clear if we create the isolation between this well and the substrate what will happen just observe very carefully okay now here there is a p type substrate here i'm going to form one layer one extra layer okay this layer i'm going to form here then this is i can call because it is layer on layer therefore i can call this one as epitaxial layer is it clear this is referred as okay we will write epitaxial layer epitaxial layer okay now if you observe that is there any uh, contact between this well and substrate no there is no contact between well and substrate is it understood therefore you can easily avoid the problem of what latch up absolutely you can easily avoid the problem of latch up now the major issue here is if you observe that if you isolate this upper layer with the lower layer with the help of epitaxial layer is there any substrate for this no there is no substrate for this therefore we required one more well here okay which is referred as i can use this here one well definitely i required which well absolutely p well here therefore if you observe that two wells are going to be used in this fabrication process therefore it is referred as what twin tub fabrication process is it understood all of you that means by creating a isolation between the substrate and well okay the latch up problem is overcome is it understood but the major issue is there is no substrate for this mass therefore we have to take one more substrate here in terms of well therefore since we are using two wells here okay therefore we are going to call it as twin tub or you can call it as twin well fabrication process is it understood but if you observe what is the drawback present in twin tub or twin well fabrication process what is the major drawback means even though there is a substrate here we are not at all using this substrate it remains unused therefore the idea is if you remove this substrate okay and we can create directly our silicon on insulator is it understood this epitaxial layer will act as what insulator the idea is okay to <coughs> avoid this unused substrate and to use this insulator directly okay on that insulator if we design our silicon then we can call this as yes wo i technology what is the name observe very carefully silicon on what insulator is it understood all of you now we will see the silicon on insulator structure is it understood now if you observe that this soi technology will be okay uh, in two 
processes one is sapphire substrate process another one is silicon substrate process is it clear you can use directly this sapphire as insulator okay now so many members are going to be consumed why you are using one more time silicon but remember i'm using silicon but don't forget i'm not doing just oxidation i'm going to do buried oxidation because of this buried oxidation this entirely will turns into totally insulator not only at the top it turns totally as okay insulator that means uh, in the top view in the bottom view or whatever it may be it will be act as an insulator i hope that are you clear just we will see the uh, SOI technology process don't forget how the insulator is formed one more time I'm telling that with the help of suffice substrate and with the help of what silicon substrate is it clear now if you observe that uh, here I'm going to show some of the pictures to you okay if you observe that uh, there are some pictures for you okay I will show the pictures here this yeah this is SOI technology, silicon on insulator technology. Observe very carefully here. See, I'm going to show the buried oxidation process. Okay, there you have to uh, observe the silicon substrate is there and you are going to do buried oxidation here. Then entire this one will be turns into what? Absolutely, this will be turns into, is it clear? Absolutely, okay, uh, a total insulator. On that, I am going to use a silicon film. That is the name as silicon on insulator. Then the remaining process is as usual process with the help of photolithography and etching. You are going to create some islands on that. Is it clear? After that, okay, then you are going to okay use polysilicon chemical vapor deposition. After the diffusion, observe very carefully when you are diffusing boron you are that means uh, you are masking here and uh, similarly when you are diffusing arsenic you are going to mask here in this manner you can uh, develop what the diffusion process here is it understood here one transistor will comes and here another transistor will come is is it understood here okay now metallization this is the process of silicon on insulator once again if you observe if you want step by step okay now observe that you have taken the substrate and you have done buried oxidation after on that you have taken one more time okay the thin oxide that is for uh, polysilicon okay then uh, that is the name insulator okay uh, silicon on insulator after that you have created uh, two thin oxides for uh, depositing polysilicon is it clear there polysilicon after that okay you uh, uh, photolithography and etching process and after that uh, 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 you have to diffuse diffusion that means n type impurities and p type impurities don't forget while diffusing one impurity gas you have to mask another here also while diffusing one impurity gas you have to mask another finally you have to do metallization this is aluminium metal you have to use is it understood all of you this is a very simple what we'll call a s foia process but don't forget instead of this silicon you can directly use instead of this silicon that means uh, here what you have done if you observe that here what we have done you have taken this silicon substrate you have done buried oxidation then after that you have taken the thin oxide you have taken thin oxide and uh, here after photolithography and etching process what you have done here you have created your thin oxide at whatever the positions you required is it clear this position you have created this position you have created is it understood okay then what you have done then you have done here a uh, what will that chemical vapor deposition that means you have taken a polysilicon here polysilicon and after that you have done the diffusion here diffusion here diffusion here diffusion here is it understood all of you okay in this process but don't forget since you are doing the process under insulator okay uh, it won't be appear any wells are there it won't be appear here is that understood all of you and instead of this buried oxidation or so on so you can use directly the sapphire substrate you can use directly sapphire substrate which will directly act as what insulator then you can do the remaining process what is that thin oxide after that polysilicon okay chemical vapor deposition polysilicon after that you can do what will that okay diffusion process here here diffusion process here diffusion and diffusion process i hope that are you clear in this manner you can do the process what is that this is insulator 
this is silicon therefore you can call it as silicon on insulator i hope that are you clear all of you okay now you can observe some of the advantages present in silicon on insulator what are the advantages present in sy you can observe okay just you can go through the advantages if you want you can search in the media also okay these are some are the advantages present better electrostatic control reduction of parasitic junction capacitance excellent latch up immunity because of buried oxide layer okay these are the some advantages you can write in your external point of view is it understood is it clear now you can observe the what we'll call uh yeah by c mass fab yeah now we will discuss about by cmos fabrication process here observe by cmos is the combination of two technologies one is what cmos technology another one is bipolar technology just now we have seen the fabrication process of cmos that means well fabrication and the drawback in the well fabrication is latch up how latch up is overcome with the help of uh, twin tub fabrication process but what is the drawback present in twin tub unused substrate and therefore you can use sy technology but in by cmos fabrication process for your external point of view you can use any one of the fabrication process in collaboration with bipolar is it clear we know that in bipolar we required base base collector and emitter therefore i'm going to show one figure but don't forget here a single in a single ic so here you required a c mass and it should be isolated and here you required a bipolar is it clear then you can call this entire thing as what by c mass i hope that are you clear don't forget you can use any one of the fabrication to represent c mass okay better to use winter or sy if you want you can use well fabrication also is it understood i am going to show one figure don't forget in this figure they are going to use well fabrication process as cmos and they are going to use a bipolar is it clear don't forget here a cmos and a bipolar should must have an isolation separation and the single substrate is there therefore here also you must have an isolation that means here therefore you can tell you can use buried oxidation here then later you can use one for collector another for base another for emitter is it understood all of you okay this is for emitter this is for base this is for collector i will show one figure observe very carefully how this is going to be observed is it understood just observe very carefully okay i'm going to show this is a by c mass fabrication picture is it understood okay now you can observe what c mass fabrication they have used absolutely n well fabrication they have used is it understood but if you want you can use twin tub fabrication or you can use sy fabrication whatever it may be but don't forget to separate this one is it clear okay you have to isolate here you can observe that uh, okay buried layer is there to isolate uh, this substrate with the bipolar here also definitely you must have some isolation okay you have to do the isolation here and if you want you may use epitaxial layer and uh, you may use what we'll call uh, another well as a twin tub fabrication process is it understood all of you okay this is regarding about by cmos fabrication process if you are having any queries please try to comment is it understood okay this is regarding about by cmos fabrication process is it understood these are some advantages of by cmos fabrication process okay by cmos is essentially vigorous to temperature and process variation of ring good economical consideration high load current sinking and sourcing can be done is it clear it is a combination of two technologies don't forget one is what cmos another one is by cma bipolar sorry is it clear therefore it is uh, very useful for us to study about the differences between bipolar and uh, what we'll call uh, c mass and by c mass and c mass is it clear this is regarding about the entire fabrication process of ic technologies is it understood okay uh, but uh, the task for you is okay to uh, compare bipolar with c mass that means mass technology and by c mass with c mass technology i hope that are you clear is it okay thank you very much if you are having any queries you may ask okay thank you very much have a nice day